since our last update, some of the most exciting progress is that Zachary has completed the concrete work uh, down in the river channel needed to accept the first of three very large spill gates. So the, a big part of the project is getting the dam rehabilitated to accept that gate and be able to place it. And that's been completed on the first of three spill gates now. They've also made substantial progress on beefing up the center piers. You can see that the center piers are substantially larger. That's where a large hydraulic cylinder is gonna sit that'll operate the gate. And not only that, it's going to allow for some piers to be placed on top for our new uh, bridge access that's going to be allowed uh, future maintenance activities. Another critical aspect of the work that's been completed, now that all of the concrete work for that first gate is complete, uh, the spillway is ready to pass flows should we have a rise in the river. Uh, there was previously a sheet pile copper dam that was basically vertical sheets of steel that was protecting the work area. Those have now been cut down to a lower elevation that would allow for passage of flood water should we have a rain event. Another function of that is that it's going to maintain current lake levels um, so we can continue our critical water supply operations upstream of the dam. One thing that's been really exciting in the last quarter is we had the opportunity to go out to Steel Fab's facility in, in Massachusetts. Steel Fab is the manufacturer of the spill gates themselves. They're going to make the gates in four large sections that will be bolted together out here in the field. Uh, we're really happy with the progress of the fabrication work and excited to see that continue. Um, in the upcoming quarter, we expect to see those first set of spill gates delivered out here to the site for uh, future installments. So here from the fabrication shop in this photo, you can see the bottom section of one of the spill gates. There's actually going to be two pieces that form the bottom section. So this one piece you're seeing is only half of the bottom of a gate. Up here in this next photo, you see what the top piece of the gate is going to look like. This is where water will actually spill over the crest of the gate when we lower the gates for flood operations. And there'll be also similarly be two pieces of this gate uh, bolted on top of the lower section. Now we've reached a point in the project where all of the existing gates have been removed from the dam. So we're moving on to a point to where we're just adding the modern concrete needed to accept the new hydraulic press gates.